Now in this question then, we're given this equation for a curve C and we've got to find the exact value of dy by dx for a point on the curve at 3, 2. So how do we do this? Well, this is a typical question on implicit differentiation and if you're unsure about implicit differentiation you can find tutorials on my website on this. But essentially what we've got to do then is differentiate each term with respect to x. So I'd want to just put in a little intro here. I'll just say diff differentiate with respect to x. All right. Now when it comes to differentiating this first term with respect to x, 2 to the power x, we should be familiar with this particular result. If you've got a constant, let's just say we've got y equals a constant a to the power x, then dy by dx always equals a to the power x multiplied by the natural log of that constant a. So when it comes to differentiating 2 to the power x, the a value is that 2. So you're going to therefore have 2 to the power x multiplied by the natural log of 2. Now when it comes to differentiating y squared though with respect to x, if we're doing implicit differentiation, this is the same as differentiating it with respect to y, which is 2y, and then we put on the dy by dx at the end. Okay, we tag that on to the end. Now, when it comes to differentiating 2xy though, this is a product of two functions. So we're going to need to use the product rule here. So I'm going to take one of the parts here as 2x and the other part then as the y. So Using the product rule, remember we just take one part, say the red part, times it by the differential of the other part, the green part, and then we do plus and we do it the other way around. We take, say, the green part and times it by the differential of the red part, the 2x. Okay? So that's the product rule. So if we say then we take the 2x and we now multiply it by the differential of the other part here, y. So differentiating y with respect to x, you get dy by dx. Then plus, and we do it the other way around. We take this part, the y, and we multiply it by the differential of 2x with respect to x. Well, that's just going to be simply 2, so we'll just pop that in there as 2. So we need to tidy this up gather up terms, gather up the dy dx terms and uh, go from there. So what I would want to do, I feel, is that we'll take the 2y to this side, to the left. So we'll take 2y from both sides and we'll take 2y dy dx from both sides. So if we do that, we, we're going to end up with 2 to the power x natural log of 2 minus this 2y is going to equal 2x dy dx minus 2y dy dx. Now I'm going to pull out, say, a 2 as well as a common factor. So I'm going to have 2 multiplied by x, okay, minus the 2y. And I'm going to put dy dx. You should put dy dx on the end when you factorize things like this, okay? So that's what we're going to have. So we've got 2x dy dx, 2x dy dx, and then minus 2y dy dx, minus 2y dy dx. So if I now divide through by 2 times x minus y, I get dy by dx equals 2x, 2 to the power x, I should say, 2 to the power x, natural log of 2, minus 2y, all divided by 2 times x minus y. So that's the gradient in general. I'm looking for the gradient at this point on the curve C, so we know that x equals 3, y equals 2. So at 3, 2, okay, all we need to say 
is dy by dx equals, and then we just substitute our value for x as 3 and value for y in as 2, and we've got 2 to the power 3 multiplied by the natural log of 2 minus 2 times y, 2 times the y value of 2, and that is all divided by 2 times x, which is the 3, minus the y value, which is the 2. So when we clean this up, what have we got? Well, we've got 2 cubed, which is clearly 8, natural log of 2, and then we've got minus 4, and that's all divided by 2 times essentially 1, so that's 2. And we can divide both terms on the top by the 2, and that's going to give me 4 times the natural log of 2 minus 2. And there you go. There's your answer. There's your exact value, okay, for the gradient at the point 3, 2.